put everything into working on the music. And so after six class periods of the day and going through math, science, social studies, English, all the other really unimportant things in life, yeah. you get in here and you're like, wow, you're finally with people who genuinely care about you because like even yeah. if you're having a really rough day, music is literally the universal medicine. Yeah. Like orchestra, being able to play the music and like put your full efforts into just getting the right notes and the right rhythm and the right tempo and getting everything correct, that's like so stress relieving and just a matter of like 10 minutes. It has enriched our education because we were be, um, able to be involved in several aspects of the school and we were able to make different friends and have different experiences when it comes to playing with the group which is a huge blessing um, for our school to be able to offer that to the students and being an orchestra it really did help my confidence and leadership as I was um, you know playing with different people and I need to learn how to work with different people and it's just daily life skills that I was able to learn. say that there's a student-teacher relationship between people, but what people don't understand is that those classes, you might be able to see those teachers throughout, maybe two years throughout your whole high school. Like, you're going to get Mr. Sweat, if you stay in the porch program, you're going to get him for four straight years, and he's going to know you, he's going to know your name, he's going to know a lot about you, and at the end, you can really truly see that every year when seniors graduate, you know, he's he always, cries. Yeah, he cries he's like always, a big baby. He always has tears, and it's just a really wonderful time, and so we all get because it's a really good opportunity to meet new people from other schools and just connect the district a little bit more. I mean, I really didn't know half, I didn't know more than half people that came into that class and I ended up knowing all of them by the end 
of the concert, and I'm super excited, and I was blessed to be able just to play with those people, and I really enjoyed it this year, and I hope that it continues to flourish in the, in the following years, because it really did sound great. We had a great concert, and I love the director that came in. Dr. Shrugs, you are amazing. Um, I went to Honor Orchestra several times, and it was like really exciting, and I literally remember asking Mr. Sweat, like, yo, where is Honor Orchestra? <laughs> He's like, it doesn't exist. And I was like, why? And so when it happened this year, it was just really exciting because it was like, well, finally, orchestra's getting that respect that we deserve because we work so hard. Like, Just, just more um, filter. Uh, what I mean by like a filter program, I mean, just mean more implementing it into our middle schools and our elementary schools. I would love to see elementary schools maybe having like a little piano class or something like that, because that can really set a musical foundation. Or an orchestra class. Yeah, an orchestra class or something like that. So I mean, I just want musicality to be taught to kids. Orchestra throughout the county is not respected and it's not seen as like an actual fine art and when people think of fine arts they're like oh my gosh the course program having more respect and starting it with a lot of elementary schools i know some county elementary schools have it but not all and so starting the orchestra and string instruments earlier would make it where we could even earn more respect because we can play harder pieces and we